One year ago, Alphonson announced the S1 and the T1 as super fast and more advanced Delta 3D printers. And a few weeks ago, we had the T1 Pro involving into more better and capable Delta 3D printer. Now they are doing the same thing for the S1, adding the Pro to the S1. Zach react right here. Hey, Zach here and welcome to this video. Yes, we are going to check out together the FL Sun S1 Pro. You know, they are going to release it as a world premiere on the 25th of November. And since I'm going to be very busy with other things as well, I am going to check out what we can expect of the Pro version of the S1. Are we going to get some similar things like the T1 Pro having a faster fan or more silent fan or I still am not figuring out which kind of thing they have improved on the T1. But uh, I hope that this one is more professional. And uh, now let's dive right in. And so here it is, the S1 Pro official waiting page. <laughs> yeah, I reached out to Ethelson like, hey, have you more information about this S1 Pro? Because I'm eager to know. I wanna know what they have improved on this 3D printer. So I'm going to compare it with the information that I that we already have on the official site from Ethelson. I'm going to compare it and give my thoughts, ideas, and reactions to it. The S1 Pro coming up. Pro and beyond. Faster, larger, larger, and quiet. So if you're not familiar with the S1 yet, well, here we have the side, nice video, very clean house, dog, girl playing with, a woman playing with the dog. And then we have this F Sun S1, a very high advanced Delta 3D printer, which is fast and it has print speeds up to 1200 millimeters per second, which is quite fast. And we all know as a Delta 3D printer, it is fast and seeing the kinematics, the movements of a Delta 3D printer, it's always nice. I always need to address this. And the print speeds, the acceleration or the acceleration of the S1 currently is at 40,000 millimeters per second square. And also pushing out filament is at 110 millimeters cubed per second. If these two are the S1 Pros um, or S1 and S1 Pro, I don't know if it are both the same, we are going to find it out in a few days, but I cannot wait that long. I want to know because is it really that much better? And if you have an S1, what do you think about this 3D printer? Let me know in the comments. A revolutionary speed for less turnaround time, epic speed. They don't say like how much faster it is going to be. Current S1 has 1200 millimeters per second. If they are talking about for less turnaround time, are they going to compare it with the S1 or with a normal regular 3D printer? Data printers are always fast. And also with now nowadays with Clipper, they are even faster than a normal standard Delta 3D printer. If they are going to increase the speeds, like an acceleration, because a higher acceleration is also going to affect your overall print speeds, travel, printing, stuff like that. Now currently 40,000, I would guess maybe 50,000, maybe even 60,000. That would be epic. Then 1200 millimeters per second print speed would be more like 1400 or maybe even 1600. That would be very fast. Would it be rocking the Delta 3D printer on its feet? That would be nice. You play some music on the background and it feels like your S1 Pro is at a nightclub. Hey, can you also add some RGB lights to it? That would be even fancier. A hotter hot end, suitable for PEI, PPS, PPS with carbon fiber or GF, girlfriend? Or PPA, with CF and maybe girlfriend. But looking up PPS and PPA, those stands are around the 310 degrees. And if we are checking out the S1, it's currently 350 degrees C. So that would mean that if it is even hotter, hotter than the S1, that would mean like 370, 380, maybe even touching the 400 degrees C as a nozzle hot end temperature. The chamber currently is at 50 degrees. I think that that would be the same. And printing with those filaments, like they mentioned, the PPS and the PPA would be 120 for the heated bed. So that part will be the same. The hot end, however, I guess that would be closer to the 400 degrees. If it will stay the same, like 350, then something saying like, oh, hey, uh, a hotter hot end would be say, saying like, 
similar hot end like the S1. If they say hotter hot end, closer to 400, not equal. Unmatched volume for an unbound creativity, big. So talking about the size of the S1 Pro, if we are going to look at the printing volume of this 3D printer of the S1, currently stands on 320 in diameter times 430. And like mentioned with the T1 Pro, we are working with a delta movement type. So meaning you will get this, this angle that you see right here. Everything below a certain point, you can print at full size in the, in the X and in the Y, but in the height, it's going to run up like you can see right here because less movement on three axes means a uh, smaller volume the closer you come to the top. It please it upgrade quieter, smarter, and more stable. I think that the S1 had the decibels sitting at around 50 decibels. So for the T1 Pro, let's uh, let's go to, to the T1 Pro because they have changed the parts cooling because that's where the, this fan is, is about. It's at 55 decibels and they were comparing it like the canals of Amsterdam and it's a big city so yeah they are saying like hey like a normal neighborhood suburban neighborhood with some some noise but not loud noise that is you know annoying 50 decibels 55 decibels i think for most most of the 3d prints is very normal smarter i don't know what they mean with smarter this printer is based upon clipper so yes it would be smarter there will be more stuff added to it so for me it's just a guess but it has already a a auto bed leveling yeah for the t1 pro uh, we have auto bed leveling we have the 78 and extruder so it is a very tough extruder it, it pulls in filament you need to have something like that if and especially if you are going with high print speed your hot end needs to keep up with the print speeds right delta not a name for a high efficiency while well, the s1 pro will be our fastest uh, printer so far if i see this here it reminds me of the uh, other tool heads so basically here you see the tool head and it is not going to be any different so like mentioned here we we have this this little duct or this little tube and in front of it the, the wires that are needed for the additional hardware like the hot end so intelligent zone heating so precise heating control this was on the s1 pro i'm not really sure if there are segments within this plate if it is all in aluminum it is going to be heated with some smaller pads and not all at once but depending on how big your print bed is and you see it also here in the animation a small rocket or a small banshee will be having a smaller heat zone than if you are going full build plate size models so that's cool. So you can also expect that in this 3D printer as well. A lighter dual gear direct drive extruder, optimized motion system, par parallel multi-link. What does that mean? Swifty change motion direction and speed. Be basically sounds like, yeah, basically the same. Only said, only set a little bit different motion system control like i think i'm guessing like a input shaping stuff like that to prevent that the movements are going to be visible when going higher speeds you don't want to have those ringing and the, the ghosting on, on the sides of your models yeah here 55 decibels uh, reducing printing noise to 55 decibels just like i mentioned the t1 pro has a 55 decibels i don't know what the what what was what was it here what was the the, the do we do we have that here if i and they still didn't update anything about the environmental uh, protection but what does it do i don't know close loop motors nice they are going to be on the s1 pro guys the close loop motors not close loop motors Okay, but here the real-time positioning monitoring automatically adjustment for losing step detection. They mean closed loop motors. They don't mention on for the S1, the, the one that they released last year, uh, how loud or what the decibels were for this printer. But now they say like 55 decibels. So the other one was more around the 70, maybe 80 decibels. I heard a lot of people complaining about how loud the s1 and the t1 were during their reviews enjoy perfect layers quality every time with the s1 pro upgraded ai features sensors and algorithms 
I want to see that. And here, meet Ethelson Slicer 2.0. I want to know if it is going to be a Prusa Bamboo Labs kind of thing. If it is an, let, let's let's find out. Just a second. Ethelson Slicer. How to compile? No. Oh, Ethelson Slicer is based upon Prusa Research. Prusa Slicer. Okay. Please, please, Ethelson. Please, please, please. Don't do the same thing as other brands are doing as well. Copy and pasting other slices. Please put your time and efforts in it and release your printer profiles in Prusa Slicer. <sighs> Please do that. I would like that. Um, so the prices, if you are going to buy an S1, it is going to cost, like by now, it is 1,499 USD. I said it just before it updated to the euro price. So if you are living in Europe, good luck because this one is 1,599 euros. So I don't say $100 more like the exchange rate are changing sometimes. If I am going to guess what the price of this S1 Pro is going to be, it is an upgraded version. Let's let's do a test. So for example, the Ethelson T1U, basically the T1, yeah. If you are going to buy it, it's like 399 USD. The Pro version, the T1 Pro, is 699 euros. Now, don't do that, EU, USA, 599. So the difference between those two, 400, 600, like 200. So if the S1 is 1499, so 1500, I would guess that this one would be like 1699 USD, like $200 more. I will put the link in the description where you can buy, uh, where you can wait until you get the official announcement about the Ethelson S1 Pro. So I will put the links in the description of this video where you can watch and check out when the S1 Pro is going to be released or subscribe to it, stuff like that, so that you can find out for yourself. Are you going to spend the additional 150 to 200 US dollars for the S1 Pro. What are your thoughts and ideas about this brand new 3D printer? Let me know in the comments. If you're brand new here and not subscribed, subscribe. And hey, if you did like this video, you know what to do. Oh, and by the way, if you didn't know it, my microphone is on this side of my head. Makes life a lot easier than have it hanging here.